In this video, we're going to introduce uh, factoring, and we're going to be factoring a univariate polynomial by grouping. The univariate means there's only one variable in the problem. Okay, so to do grouping, you group the first two terms together and then the second two terms together. And you look at those first two terms and you ask, what's the biggest thing I can factor out of these things? They have no numbers in common, 3 and 5, so we can't factor a number out. But this has u squared, which is u times u, and this has u cubed, which is u times u times u. So we can factor a u squared out of both of these. So we do that, we put the u squared out front, and once we factor that out of these two terms, you're left with 3u plus 5. Okay, so that's the first part. Now let's look at the second part. What's the biggest thing I can factor out of both of these? Well, you can't do a u because the 10 doesn't have a u, but you can factor out a 2 because both of them are divisible by 2. That's the biggest number that you can factor out of both of those. So 2, and that becomes 3u plus 5 again. Now that's good because if these parentheses are the same, that means we can factor those out. And when we take those two out, all that's going to be left is the u squared and plus 2. So let's factor out a 3u plus 5 and that will leave u squared plus 2. Now this cannot be factored anymore because that's a sum of squares. Uh, so this is where the problem ends. Okay, let's take a look at this one. We will factor the first two terms and then the second two terms. Okay, so that gives us, what can we take out of here? There's no number, 2 and 7 have nothing in common. But we can take an x squared out. Um, and that will leave, let's see, 2x in this one, for, if I divide out the x squared and plus 7. And here, I can't take an x out because there's no x, but I can take a 3 out. That's the biggest thing that will go into these two numbers. So plus 3, and that will leave 2x plus 7. Now, just like last time, since I have the, both of the 2x plus 7s, I'll put that out front. Okay, so that's gone. What's left? x squared plus 3. Okay, let's look at this one down here. We've got got them grouped together there. Okay, so what's the biggest thing I can take out of both of these? Uh, no number, but we can take a w squared out. Okay, so that will leave us with w uh, minus 4. And on here, the biggest number that goes into both of these is 5, and you can't factor a w out because this doesn't have a w. So plus 5, and that will be w minus 4 when we divide both of these by 5. Again, we have the same in the parentheses, so we can put that out front. And what's left is a w squared plus 5. Okay. And again, all of these are turning out to be positive, but if this was a minus, this could be factored further uh, using a difference of squares, but this is not a difference of squares because it's a plus. Okay, one last problem. Let's look at this one. Okay, so the first two terms, looks like we can, we can factor out a number this time. I think 3 goes into 6 and 9, and they both have a, at least a w squared to give, so 3w squared. Okay, and that would leave 3w, I'm dividing the 9w cubed by 3w squared, um, and plus 2, that's 6w squared divided by 3w squared. And the next two, what's the biggest number that comes out of both of these? That would be a 2, giving you 3w plus 2. And I take the 3w plus 2 and put it out front, and that leaves me with 3w squared plus 2. And that's factoring by grouping.